Hello. Um, I should start out by telling you that this video is going to be all over the place. Uh, though I hope to um, make it make sense. Um, I am struggling right now, the day after the uh, FBI raid on uh, Donald Trump's home in uh, Florida. I'm struggling to think positive, happy thoughts uh, in spite of the very, very disturbing and depressing uh, conclusion that um, our FBI seems to have morphed into the Stasi, which um, you may know was the secret police organization of East Germany for some 40 years. Um, and I'm going to share with you the rather um, circuitous process, thought process, that I've used to um, try to think, uh, try to occupy my mind with happier thoughts than this disturbing and depressing news. And of course, I, I hearken back to the days when our FBI was uh, the epitome of incorruptibility when it was the, it was esteemed and uh, uh, honored throughout the world as the uh, world's greatest investigatory agency. And uh, FBI agents were assumed to be straight arrows, um, incorruptible, uh, protectors of the Constitution and the the people of America when it was a truly uh, uh, admirable crime-fighting organization. And um, people of a certain age might remember that there was a radio program. It was actually based on a book. It was from the mid-40s to mid-50s. And it was called The FBI in Peace and War. Had a dynamic theme. Um which my dad, uh, always delighted in pointing out, um, had its origins in a, an opera by the Russian composer Prokofiev. And uh, that opera was called uh, The Love for Three Oranges. And it just was a, a, it was a march, and it was a wonderful, wonderful theme. It went... Da 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 And it was perfectly fitting for a show about the uh, glorious crime-fighting exploits of the FBI. Now, where am I going with this? Well, uh, Prokofiev, the Russian composer, um, is perhaps better known for a, um, another, uh, uh, was it an opera, a symphony? Uh, it was a piece that was uh, a part of the youth of uh, many people, of my generation, certainly. And that was Peter and the Wolf. Um, I grew up listening to uh, uh, Peter and the Wolf being narrated by the great Sterling Holloway, one of the greatest voices uh, to ever exist. And um, it's a perfect uh, uh, amusement for children because, uh, and, and for, for many, an introduction to classical music. And every character in Peter and the Wolf had uh, his or her own theme, Peter and the, the various animals. And, of course, the wolf himself. The wolf's theme was... Very dramatic, very menacing music. And that was, that was played when the wolf made his appearance. But the theme for Peter is what I'm using to try to think happier thoughts. Because uh, Peter's theme was perfect to evoke 
the image of a young boy just traipsing happily through the woods before the wolf ever appeared. And that theme went da 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 So I'm trying to force myself to go through at least today with that as my soundtrack. And it's in spite of everything that's going on, it's it's hard for me not to smile when I think of of Peter's theme. I hope this has been um, uh, interesting, perhaps educational. I certainly hope it's been entertaining or at least amusing. Thank you very much.